We also have with us another Walk of Famer. He received his star back in the year 2000. He's asked to say a few words. Uh, he played the voice of Mr. Potato Head in Toy Story, Toy Story 2, and Toy Story 3. Please acknowledge Don Rickle. Isn't it over yet? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I'd first like to say, uh, John, uh, thanks for dressing up for the show. Uh, get him a rake and a horse and get him a farm. <laughs> Man has billions of dollars and he's dressed like it's trick-or-treat, Halloween's over. <laughs> but it's been great. 17 years ago, I, I met John, I was down in Malibu, and he said, you're going to be Mr. Potato Head. I said, I don't do Mickey Mouse cartoons, leave me alone. <laughs> And sure enough, uh, we got a residual check, and now I kiss as you know what every morning. <laughs> Playing a moron puppet is my whole life now. That's what I do. But it's great being John is the kind of director, uh, and I'm not that kind of guy. He said when I first met him, he said, now, you're Mr. Potato Head. When you come in the room, be nice to the monkey, because the dog wants to show that he cares about the animals, and you care about the sparrow. I said, it's 6.30. Let me go home. Let me alone with this crap. <laughs> I don't care if the sparrow dies. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. And I had to, again, kiss up to him for the lousy check. But today, as I stand and look around, I see I'm the biggest name here. I realize Tim Allen couldn't be here. He's home kissing himself. And Tom Hanks still believes Ryan is a big hit. Anyway, uh, they don't have to show up. They just lay in the house and go, screw him, we don't have to be there. The, the Jew will do all the talking. <laughs> By the way, I am Jewish, that's why I'm with Disney. Anyway, uh, Walt before he died. Get me a Jew, I want him on the show. I call him Walt, I never met the man, I don't care. You people, I guess, are going to be executed. I don't know what these suits are for. And I do want to recognize... Uh, John's wonderful wife. God bless you, dear. Get a propeller on your tush and you can fly around with that hat. Anyway, uh, she's a stunning lady, but get rid of the hat. You're getting on my nerves with the goddamn hat. No, you're stunning, sweetheart. What could she do to me? Anyway, uh, see, I know it's a big, I know you have a lot of fans when you see a Mexican laying on the floor watching your show. That's, that's great. Oh, hey, don't boo. I didn't invite you here. What the hell do I care? <laughs> no, God love you. Mexican, I don't care what you are. If you were Jewish, you'd be over here, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Thanks again, John, for giving me this big opportunity. Good luck in your career, although I believe it's slipping. But, uh... But thanks again, and the pants a little tight in the crutch, otherwise you look pretty good. <laughs> God bless you, continue your great work, and you're a good gentleman, and I love being here, and I wish you the best. Thank you very much. Thanks to the one and only Don Rickles.